Hi guys, the table is back. So is the black rug, which means that it's only one thing. It's time for a unboxing. Fucking hell, and that thing. Hi guys, thank you very much for joining me today on this lovely unboxing of the brand new Kill Team Into the Dark starter set. It's a shame it's a starter set, I would have liked it to be a starter and or expansion at the same time where you could buy it without buying the rule books and everything else, but that's the powers that be have decided that is not going to be the case. Um, so we are looking then at a full box to review, it does mean I'm going to end up with two rule books, I'll probably end up selling one or giving one away or something. Um, and I'm going to end up with two lots of counters, but as we are uh, sometimes both played Imperial Guard and or Chaos Guard in this house of mine, uh, then having two sets of counters is not really much, is not a bad thing. Right, so let's crack open the uh, the case. I am having to use my hand to, yeah, as you can see, I'm not going to be able to open that with one hand, I'm going to need two hands to open it. I'm trying to be clever. Hooray. There we go. Mm. The smell of plastic hits you straight away because I think there's going to be a hell of a lot of sprues in this. We have, of course, all the new crude gubbings. These seem to have 2022 on. Can you focus in on that? There? No. no. They've got 2022 on their little kits. So these are brand new uh, Tau pieces, unlike the kill team that we got for Tau uh, originally in one of the expansions. That that came with the sisters in the Tau, and for some reason the Tau was a bit... It was like really old figures that have been repurposed. I think some of the Chaos ones were like that as well. There's quite a lot of detail. A lot of these, unfortunately, do seem to follow a similar pattern now where it seems to be a kind of a purpose fit together so you'll get two or three different parts for one type of model we'll be able to have a look at that once we get to the instructions of course and the imperial navy only the imperial navy is quite a dense kit as you can see from this if i go there I should be able to use my dark carpet as a background it's a very dense kit it does not seem to follow a double up pattern which is a good thing I'm hoping you get a choice of heads that you can put on there because I would like to mix and match. I don't know if we're going to be able to use this Imperial Navy kit in our Imperial Guard. I bet you can, but I bet that's when they bring out the Guard Codex, which apparently is going to be winter this year, so it's not long. And of course, the main event that everyone's been talking about, we've got the rooms. So this looks like it's going to be quite a lot of debris and extra fields. We've got two sort of kits with these particular pipes on there. I'm guessing these, that flips over and creates one. I'm going to try my best to maybe get this done up as quick as I possibly can. Um, it does look like a really good kit, but I may be doing a battle report with this and I might be doing it with unpainted plastic. Oh well, if that's the case, that's the case. A lot of these are going to come with doors that you can open, apparently. So it looks like a lot of these doors are going to be in certain things, and then you're going to be putting another piece of plastic over the top, which will then probably be hinged. That would be a really good idea if that is the case. These uh, little buttresses and bricks apparently are going to be able to just slot into each other. I do like the fact that it looks that way. It does look like you're going to be able to slot in, and of course the lids are then going to cap it off. From what I've seen so far, this stuff is not going to be glued together. Maybe that might be, when you put the door on and you put whatever seal in, or seal that is. But the rest of it, you need to try and keep separate. So keep that in mind when looking at putting these units together. Because the missions are going to have a lot of... <coughs> Sorry, I'm just still recovering from COVID, unfortunately. Uh, missions are going to have a lot of different options for you to be able to lay these out. Which, let's be fair, £100. Uh, that's how much I can manage to get this one for. Um, it's going to be a bit of a... Yeah, you're wanting to be able to make sure that you're going to be able to make as many different kits as you want out of this. 
These do look nice, they're very highly detailed. Whether or not you're gonna spend majority of your time detailing them is going to be another matter. Um, because you may find yourself just not detailing it as much so you can try and get it and get your models on the playing field. Is that very detailed? Very highly detailed. Oh, 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 we've got another sprue for the uh Yes, we've got another sprue here for the Navy. This seems to be sort of like the stuff like the and Medipack, I'll be able to have a look at all those guys in a moment. Still more, oh, you do get a set of, brand new set of barricades in here as well, which is a good thing, because actually I didn't have a barricade set from the original. I just had a couple of these pieces. Right. And more, so that is a hell, I'll just show you what's on my settee here. It's a lot of plastic. It's a hell of a lot of plastic kit. Got the usual artwork. That looks pretty good, actually, to be honest. Same on both sides. And we've got... You're going to be able to put all of this back in here. This is amazing. So you've got your core book into the dart book. It also, by the looks of it, comes with the instructions to be able to assemble everything together. I've not found my sheet of cards yet. Yeah, I'm hoping that is in that rule book bit there. And more orange dice. Here those orange dice. We've got all of our bases. I'm hoping that's all the bases. Of course, you're going to have your little kit regarding your uh, stratagems. They've done them as the, rather than one big box, uh, well, no, yeah, the starter sets come with this. If you got them separately, then it comes in a uh, like a big tub. And then you've got the board. Now, I've been told the board is not a standard kill team size board. It is different. It does look quite large, actually. So let's crack that open. I'm just going to compare it. So this is the size of a regular kill team table. Not huge, not uh, massive, not very small either, to be honest. And this is the Into the Dark board. Now, it's it's an odd size. It's, as you can see there, it's slightly larger width-wise yeah, lengthwise and narrow, or whichever way you want the table around. So it's more square-ish. And I, I don't kind of understand why, but it does look like you <laughs> it does look like it's going to be a similar size table rather than it being uh, something that's not completely dissimilar to what you're currently using. But it does mean that you won't be able to use for terrain. Because I'm guessing there's going to be some slight variations. You might not be able to use the terrain on here if you just wanted to represent some form of ruined building. Although I might be able to figure something out on that one. But that's for me to decide. Now, from what I can see, a lot of this is not going to require gluing. Just little tiny things places. I might, you know folks... I might snip these out and get this done. I've done it, but it's starting to turn dark outside now. It's taken me quite a few hours, but don't get me wrong, I've had dinner and such in between. There's quite a lot of pieces, especially these things, which of course go on top. I'm now going to assemble a board. I think I'll just go for the basic one out of this book. And when you're setting it up, you actually get a key in here, because if you look, that tells you what you need to do. Ooh, some of these missions look really good. And here is kind of the basic setup, as you can see from there. Um, I've not got all the little extras like the pipes and everything else out at the moment, but this is kind of like one of the basic setups. You one side of deploy here, the other side of deploy there. Surprisingly, the deployment zones are actually based on these particular tiles. So this board is definitely something that you're going to have to sort of play these games on. And you've got to try and line them up as best as you possibly can. Um, there is a little bit of a wobble. That's probably because I can't put them all the pieces in correctly. Although, I'll be honest with you, man, is it difficult to try and put some of these pieces in. And this is before I've spray painted it. So some of these are going to be incredibly tight. And I forgot to put a little cap on that one there. Christ. There we go. So yeah, that's, it's a very impressive terrain piece, I will be honest with you. Um, I mean, there's a couple of pieces left 
And of course, if you, so you could have a couple of pillars in the middle of this building if you wanted to, give yourself a little bit of extra cover. Um, that's a very you know, a tight corridor. I like the idea that some of the rooms are probably gonna be going off the actual board, but it's gonna make games of Kill Team really interesting. Uh, very interesting. Uh, there you go, you see, there's one that's popping up. You can see that gap there. Probably because I can't shove it in, it's taking me ages and it's actually hurting my hands because as usual, Games Workshops, highly detailed, riveted pieces are uh, a little bit hand rippy. Oh yeah, and you've got to make sure that your surface is quite even because these are very, they're not stiff. They're quite, they open up, they're quite loose. So they do open up quite a, you know, I mean, don't get me wrong, maybe a bit of spray paint once you've undercoated. I should stiffen them up a bit. Some people I can see spray painting it before putting the doors on. I put the doors on mainly because, of course, I'm going to be doing this terrain up quick. I'm not going to be doing way too much detail on this. Um, I'm probably going to be looking at some way of making sure that I can get through it very, very quickly so I can get it painted up nicely. Maybe like a Mechanica Standard Grey with some grime coming down it, really. Well, that's it. Um, yeah, I really did need to use the key because tell you something sometimes i was incredibly i found it very awkward in places to try and uh, figure out which particular piece is going to go in where but never mind all right we haven't got a oh time wise it took me about 10 minutes to assemble all that from fresh um so it wasn't too bad and i suppose if you get once you start getting used to it then it'll actually take you less time which i don't think is too bad because sometimes it can take me longer to uh, set up a normal table without that those 10 minutes but well, that's going to be it for the um, the box, for the unboxing and quickly looking at the terrain. Um, I'm going to do a quick little video on the contents of the book, which is going to be the um, Into the Dark Age. I'll probably release that either at the same time or tomorrow. And uh, yeah, well, thank you very much for watching, guys. Hope you enjoy the set. If you are ordering it, I'm going to enjoy these games, to be honest with you. And uh, we'll see you next time on Rootstem.